Hi, I'm Kevin Barnhill, and I'm one of your elders here at Reach Church. Uh, welcome to week three of the Easter reading plan. I sure hope you have enjoyed the first two weeks uh, in our plan uh, leading up to Easter and how God had planned for our salvation from the very beginning in week one and week two, we got an amazing picture from Isaiah on the suffering servant. And so as we come into week three, we are gonna take a look at several eyewitness accounts in the ministry of Jesus, in his life uh, before uh, he goes into Jerusalem for Passover. And as we read this week, I really want you to, the, the word that jumped out to me is compassion. And in these stories that we see, these eyewitness historical accounts, what we see is Jesus' compassion for his people. Compassion is uh, uh, the root word for compassion. The Latin root is patty, which means uh, to suffer or to endure hardship. And then the prefix of that, the Latin prefix is calm, so compassion means to suffer with. And as we read this week, let's focus on Christ's suffering with us. We see uh, in this week, we're gonna see several resurrection stories where Christ moved through compassion, acted. And that's the key component of compassion is that call to action. It's not just empathy or sympathy where we understand the pain of others, but our compassion and compassion of Christ moves us to action. And so as we read this week, we're gonna see Christ's movement to action to heal the suffering of people and to resolve through compassion the situation that they're in. As you read, please remember the word compassion. Think of Christ's compassion. Who is Christ putting in your life? Who is God putting in your life to be compassionate on? And who can you show Christ's compassion to and lead them to the great healer and savior that is Christ? Uh, we see the beginning of the plot against Jesus and that the religious rulers, their reaction to Christ's compassion. So have fun with it this week. Uh, continue to build on the, on the weeks ahead. And we just are so excited about what God will be revealing to all of you as you read through these, through these weeks leading into Easter. Thank you very much and hope to see you on Sunday. Oh.